survive and thrive in the cold. Sir Punch Ice. Ha ha ha. Sir Punch Wood. I assume that's what they're referring to. Let's see what it says. Good day, mate. You were a dang nice fella to pick me up. Pick, pick up me book. I'm writing this here novel to inform passerbys about how to live properly in this here land of ice and snow. This lesson, this lesson is purely for the sake of entertainment. Let's have some fun. The first thing you must do when you're surrounded by a frozen landscape, you bloody wolf, is find a safe hideout. It's best if you, it's, it's best if the refuge you find is no one's home. Otherwise, you might have to kill a bear or two to claim their cave. Bear fat is delicious anyway, so you have nothing to lose. Okay, <laughs> six pages of this. I'm gonna do it. When you got your home, you gotta go hunting and fishing for good measures. The best prey out there are seals, baby seals and sea legs. None of them fight back if you use a firearm. If you got no weapon there, we just make a fishing pole and get some fishes from the cold sea. Good enough. When food is not an issue, you gotta make you make your home even better. Why not hang up that beautiful picture you've been hanging on to for so long? And why is your wall not covered with the blood of your your enemies yet? This ain't Animal Crossing. But come on, that stuff's classy. Got a nice home, plenty of food. Now you prepare your heart escape from the from the frozen biome you're in. If you arrived on a plane, just find that plane again and you'll be back on your way. If you didn't arrive on a plane though, I have no idea what you should do. Stay in your bloody home and eat seals for the rest of your life. That's the best I've got. Sorry, mate. But from this point on, you'll be on your own. Good luck, mate. Well, Sir Punch Ice, you definitely are not as helpful as Sir Punch would. I don't know why I'm carrying all this crap. Probably because eventually it'll do something. I got the fish, though. Well, why do I feel like I should not be allowed back here? I don't have any more room. I'm telling you, these things are going to come in handy. What the heck is the point of this? Oh, there's a button here. No! Should be a little bit easier to walk right over. This one leads back to the beginning, just in case. Aw, oh, crap. Why are you reading this? The door is behind you. In case you didn't know, that first button also opens the door right behind you. Therefore, you gotta have to run. Therefore, you gotta have to. Well, therefore, you have to run the whole way nonstop to claim your prize. I feel like that's a load of malarkey. Hope that really does. I thought maybe that would emit a redstone signal, but the signal only goes this way. Clearly, I'm an expert with redstone. Shoot, come on! I'm also an expert at getting through doors. Boom. Crap, what do 
I get rid of? Uh, and I'll oh, get rid of my arm. Oh, I want the melons. I want the egg. Get rid of my armor. <coughs> I'm an expert at getting through doors. If you haven't seen my paranoia series, then you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. I honestly wonder if I could have just punched this out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just punch it out with whatever. I don't didn't need the stupid cake. I'll play by your rules. I feel like this is going to get really annoying. I just opened the door somewhere. There's a ladder there. I don't know why I even attempted to jump over that. I think I might get rid of the one down there. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe it doesn't even. I'm going to get horribly lost in this. I assure, sure everybody watching this. No, oh, oh, more stuff I can't carry. I must take it all though. Because what if I need one of those blocks? For no reason whatsoever. Alright, so. It must be you gotta go down the ladder fast enough. Which I don't even feel is possible. This is like the worst maze ever. Yay. <laughs> Another chest. Some just want to see it all burn. Oh, Only use when instructed to, otherwise you'll suffer. Well, I can believe that. But what crap do we get rid of? We got more armor that we don't need. said some men women children and extremely violent individuals want nothing more than to watch the world burn because of that it is my duty as a fruit of fruit made entirely of out of water and other important unimportant uh, well, elements to educate you well kind of like the hiccups or something not really like burps that I'm suppressing when in possession of a flint and steel, follow these steps carefully. Otherwise, you might become a statistic. Okay. Step one. Look around you. Ask yourself, is there a sign of, or person making, asking me to burn something? If no, proceed no further. If so, continue. Step two. If you are told to burn something that burn, if you're told by somebody that burning something is necessary, slap yourself a few times. Are you drowsy, sick, under the influence of sugar or other illegal drugs? If 
After all, the individual in question is the product of your imagination. Stop. Otherwise, proceed. See what you must burn. Is there a good reason behind setting it ablaze? Will it burn all the wool around you? Is it dangerous? If you have answered positively to any or all of these questions, proceed no further. Step 4. Breathe in deeply to oxygenate your blood. Step 5. Set fire to what you are instructed to burn. Be careful not to burn yourself, however. I hope this guy will prevent any flaming catastrophe in the future. Good to know. We shall put this in my hot bar. Because I assure you, things are going to get burned. Whether or not I am instructed to do so. That's just to get back. Hmm. There does not seem to be another way to go. And me being me. I am extremely tempted to just burn all of this down, because I can't. Oh, I didn't go this way, never mind. Sometimes I should just shut up and just do what More freaking up. Burn the brown wool, then run very quickly. If the cyan wool catches on fire, you're doing it right. But well, where am I running quickly to? Back out? Now let's eat bread. Well, how should I, how do I slap myself? I just whack, 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 whack. Nope, that sign's definitely there. I'm running quickly. It'd be more helpful if these doors were open. I don't know if I ran quickly enough. Say that the answer to that is no. Oh, nope, oh, maybe it is. Well, that is not safe. I gotta jump over it. Muffin button. I do want a muffin. That's a cookie not a muffin but um goodbye wooden sword we want more cookies. more cookies give me all the cookies water control ow This game is going to kill me because I can't, I don't want to get rid of anything I think it's all important. And I'm also going to go around doing this. Now, do I need a bunch of saddles? I might need the ride pigs. I don't think I need the wood. Um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I 
I'm very bad at this. I don't think I need two cakes. I think three saddles is plenty enough saddles. That's right. I do need to go down. Serene meadow and deserted meadow. Oh, let's go check out the. Oh wait, no, we can't go through the door. This place does not look good. Now I have more inventory space. <laughs> Should go back and grab that stuff. Apples. Is this gonna be a parkour thing? Please don't be a parkour thing. The water temple, hated by all. Doesn't look very watery in here. It's gotta be said. Gosh, this map maker really knows how to get to me. <laughs> Cram my inventory full of things. And then make me suffer because I can't pick it all up. Oh, there's a lever. <laughs> Seven pieces of wiring are missing. I wonder where they might be. Are they hidden around here? Well, geez, if I had kept that redstone from earlier in the game, I wouldn't have to worry. But now, it got me freaking trying to grab all the items in the game. I assume it's the... Sorry, no rum here. It's probably a reference that I won't get. in there. I, mean, I could sit here forever right clicking at the lava. There might just literally not be anything there. There probably is this one. Yup. See how smart I am. Yes, my entire inventory is full of crap. Ow, ow, ow. Now there's a minecart with a chest in it. What do I do? I could need all of these things. So there's got to be something up top there. See, there's a hole. Yep, there's a chest up there. More epic parkour skills. Yep, told you. Epic parkour <laughs> skills. Just gotta reach for it. There's dies, I could need those too. like this map maker purposely made this map to drive me wild. There's got to be more on top of the trees or something. It looks like there's 
should be one right here. I don't know if I'm allowed to break the box. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I feel like there's one there. I know it. It's gotta be there. that are different. One of these things is not like the other. I should probably grab the potion of regeneration. No more fire. Torches more important than an empty bucket. Or are they more important than them? Or a compass? This guy is a mean map maker. Makes it look like there's gonna be a secret. Uh huh. No, what did I was? What was I just seeing? Yep, I'm crazy. I figured Monarch of Madness. What a perfect, perfect uh, title for myself. I shall play your game. I can never get up to this thing. Aha, I was right. But there's nowhere to put it. Curse you, map maker. Rawfish. But I could tame a cat with rawfish. And I couldn't need to make rails. Spawn slime, I don't think I'm going to need to do. Dead bush, I don't think it's going to do anything. I could need to make a cake at some point, so I might need the sugar. Oh, and I drank a bucket of milk, so I won't have three buckets of milk for my cake. But I have a cake. Let's see, I'm insane. It's got to be said. gives us one more piece just one short Seem like there's anything to do with um, parkour with cacti. I hear a slime bouncing in the background. I'm ready to save my apples. He's got 
gotta be here somewhere. How long ago did I have that other piece of redstone? Melon seeds. I could need those at some point too. see it. Tricky man. No! That's supposed to do it. Open! I can't, I can't put a piece of redstone there. Oh, I can put a piece of redstone there. I had them all. Boo. I bet you it's in the floor over here. These mushrooms. dangerous idea. Don't try this at home. And if you live near lava, I'll be even more impressed. Cause that means you gotta live like next to a volcano or something. That'd be pretty awesome. I say that and I'm 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 well aware that Plenty of people already live near volcanoes. Why do you hate me so again? Uh, and iron boots. 